For the last two decades, I have been advocating the importance of financial responsibility and financial self-sufficiency. And as much as I would like every person to be financially self-sufficient and secure, unfortunately, after spending two decades talking to people, I've come to the realization that there are some attitudes, behaviors, and mindsets that will never result in the accumulation of financial wealth. And in this video, I want to talk to you about my observations so you can identify if you have any of these psychological or behavioral patterns that are preventing your ability to be able to accumulate financial wealth and therefore acquire financial security for yourself and your family. Reason number one, a fixed mindset. Fixed mindset people are people who are just not flexible in their way of thinking. They just believe that how things are in terms of their observation and experiences, that's the only way things can be and they are unable to entertain any alternative perspectives or possibilities. Because of that, they continue to do the same thing over and over again and they're unable to bring in new information or engage with new insights which will alter their behavioral and thinking patterns. The second reason is not valuing financial wealth. In fact, the worst thing that they can do in many cases is they see financial wealth as a reason for greed or reason for exploitation and so they have very bad negative associations with financial wealth and that simply means that they continue to make the types of decisions that keep them in financial struggle. The third reason is a very poor work ethic and that typically happens because they don't value high performance and high productivity and they're only doing things because they need a little bit of money to have food on the table, to have a roof above their head but beyond that they don't really take the initiative to apply themselves more than the average person. So poor work ethic is one of the reasons why they never end up earning the amount of money that they're going to need to be able to secure their financial future. The fourth reason is excessive ego. And that means that they have the assumption that they know everything. So why should they seek help? There's a saying that if you ask a question, you may look stupid for a couple of minutes, but if you don't ask a question, you may remain stupid for a lifetime. Again, if people have a lot of ego, they don't seek assistance, they don't go for mentors, they don't seek advice because they believe that they already have all the answers. The fifth reason is that they are impulsive spenders, meaning that they end up getting tempted to engage in entertainment, engage in consumerism, engage in sports or alcohol and things like that. And again, because they're quite impulsive as spenders and they don't have any long-term planning, they're unable to make provisions for their financial future. The sixth reason is that they only have one source of income and typically that source of income is derived through physical or mental exertion and because they don't understand that they can build multiple sources of income and they don't have a plan to build multiple sources of income, what ends up happening is that the amount of income that they're making is only sufficient in most cases for the living expenses and unfortunately because of that they are not able to have the cash flow to be able to put aside to invest and secure their financial future. The seventh reason is they don't understand the difference between good debt and bad debt. And so either they have a lot of bad debt, which prevents them from being able to put money aside towards investing, or they don't take out any type of debt at all because they don't understand that there is a thing called good debt, which is the debt that you take out to buy investments that will either appreciate in value or provide an income down the track. The eighth reason is that they don't have patience. They're wanting to get quick and fast results. And because of that, they end up speculating or they end up believing the tips and strategies of the media or their best friend rather than taking the time to research and commit to a long-term plan and strategy, which is the only way to secure your financial future. The ninth reason is they don't really understand that longevity trends mean that they're going to end up living a long time after retirement. So they're not even thinking long-term. They're short-term thinkers. They don't understand that after the income stops, they may end up living another 25 to 35 years and because of not understanding that fact, they're making absolutely no provisions for their financial future and therefore they're not placing any value on wealth accumulation. The tenth reason is they don't understand how financial markets work. In most cases, they're making decisions from fear because their loss aversion or the fact that they don't want to lose money is getting them to be so conservative with their decisions that they don't even invest or they are succumbing to greed where they're trying to make money quickly without really understanding what they're investing in. All of these reasons essentially result in them not being able to secure their financial future. And most of these reasons have to do more with their attitude, their mindset and their behaviors than the working of the economy or the financial markets. 
The thing that you can do after watching this video is to identify one or two reasons that are getting in your way from you being able to learn and implement the things that you need to implement to secure a financial future. Most of the things that get in our way from becoming successful are psychological in nature. After all, human beings are emotional creatures. But as long as we keep denying the problem, we can't really improve ourselves. The first hallmark of a successful person is to take 100% responsibility for the results that they're creating. Once you can do that, you've done the most difficult part. From there on, it's a lot easier. But the moment we start to blame somebody else or someone else, we can't really move forward. I hope you found this video valuable.